Welcome to Seedprod, the best drag and drop WordPress website builder and landing page builder on the market. In this video, I will show you how to add custom alignment, margin, and padding to mobile WordPress websites. This video will break down how to add custom alignments on mobile designs, the difference between margin and padding, how to add custom margins on mobile designs, and how to add custom padding on mobile designs. Inside of the WordPress admin, I have Seedprod installed and I'm inside the theme builder. I imported a theme template kit, and now I'm going to go ahead and edit the design for the homepage. This will load my theme into the drag and drop WordPress website builder by Seedprod, where we can fully customize our design. Let's take a look at the alignment of an element. For example, here's a paragraph of text, and I'll click on block settings. On the left hand side, you'll see that this will update based on this text block. Under the content tab that we're currently on, at the bottom, we have the alignment section. You'll see two icons here, one for PC and one for mobile. For PC, we can center this and we can put the text right or we can put it back to the original to the left. If we click on the mobile icon here, we can do the same thing, but you can't see it because we're not in the mobile preview. So we can see we have two different alignments here based on desktop being left and the mobile is centered. Let's go ahead and switch down here to the mobile preview. If I click this, this will change. And here you can see that on mobile, our text has been centered. If I switch back, you can see that it's aligned to the left side. Great, and you can do that for more elements. For example, here's a headline. Let's go to mobile and align this to the right. And if we switch to the mobile preview, you can see that that is aligned to the right. Okay, great, I'm gonna switch this to center and I'm gonna switch back to the desktop. Let's take a look at the margin and padding. So for example, let's select this block of text again and we'll come under the advanced tab. Let's go ahead and I'll minimize styles and I'll open spacing. Here we can see a section for margin and we can see a section for padding. Let's quickly discuss the difference between margin and padding. Here's a diagram by MDN Web Docs. So here we can see a box model and websites are generally made of boxes. So you could picture a box around your text elements, your titles, your headlines, your images, and basically every element on your page or your website. When you apply margin to an element, this is the spacing on the outside of the box. And when you add padding, this is on the inside of the box. So for example, if you added a border to your element and you added margin, the space would be on the outside of that border. If you added padding, it would be on the inside of the border. Back inside of seed prod here, we have this text element selected. We have the margin section here and we have the desktop section. Let's switch to mobile and let's go to the mobile preview here on the bottom. Let's go ahead and add hundred pixels to the left side. You can see the spacing here applied to that. If I switch back to desktop, you can see that there's no margin applied. So we can easily customize the margin on the desktop compared to the mobile section. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. Great, let's take a look at the padding now. We can see that this is highlighted right here, this orange icon. And this means that every single space here will be updated at the same time. So if I put 50, you can see each one was updated to 50. We can see the spacing for the padding was added and there's 50 on every single side. Now, if we switch to the mobile, you can see that nothing was applied here. So if I switch to mobile, you can see that there's no padding whatsoever. And if we switch back, you can see that padding. So we could change this back, go to the mobile icon, leave this unchecked. And on the right hand side, let's add hundred pixels. Now, if we switch, you can see that this is customized with hundred pixels of space on the right side for the padding. Switching back, that's not applied to the desktop version. This gives you complete control over your designs based on your PC or your mobile website. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit seedprod.com and check out our documentation page. If you require extra technical help, please feel free to contact our support team. Hey everybody, this is Chris from Seedprod. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel where I can show you how to create beautiful WordPress websites and landing pages by using our drag and drop page builder.